whether it's grapefruit, lemon, lime, orange, pomelo, do we know? I don't know. It smells good though. That's what I know. Hey fragrance friends, today I'm going to share with you the Spa Wellness Collection Perfume This from Bath & Body Works. Now this collection is really different from anything else we've ever seen from Bath & Body Works. They do have an aromatherapy line, which they have these beautiful essential oil mists, which I really like. They come in a pretty interesting bottle, especially compared to the regular fine fragrance mists. So we've got a couple different bottle shapes going on right now. This is an 8 ounce bottle and this is a 5.3 ounce bottle. And with this collection, we see a six ounce bottle with a frosted cap. There are four fragrances in the wellness shop or spa line, and these are considered perfume mists. These do feature a little bit different of a spray nozzle compared to the two that we're used to. This one reminds me very much of Sol de Janeiro, and I do have one of those for comparison. So they kind of remind me very much of that, just kind of a white spray nozzle. But let me review these scents for you. Let's start with the pink one. This is Musk. This one is fragranced with notes of sheer orchid and airy musk for a delicate skin-like scent. Very, very light and airy. It is very cashmere-y, kind of floral, but in the sheerest way. I really, really like the description for this one. Very accurate. This is a very airy scent, so it is going to be a close to the skin, very soft, very delicate type of skin scent, and it is a beautiful one. It's definitely super light, and the musk is not a very strong or musky version of a musk. It is a very, very soft and airy, sheer floral type of musk. So if you don't like heavy scents or really like those airy or skin scent type of scents, this is a perfect candidate for you. This next one is the one I'm most excited about. This is the blue one. This is Rain. This is supposed to be fragranced with notes of watery raindrops and clean white lavender for a fresh, crisp scent. Oh, that is very, very clean and aquatic. Another very light, airy, like skin scent type of vibe, but this is very aquatic. It literally smells like clean water. It's so wild. It is a super sheer, light, airy fragrance, but it's super clean in a very non-scented type of way, if that makes any sense at all. Like, it's not a very strong scent, so it's not going to smell like cleaning product clean. It smells like freshness, crispness, and again, really watery smelling. Very aquatic of a note. Not ocean-like or tropical, just very clean and watery. Love this one, honestly. This is going to be so beautiful and refreshing for summer. If you've been looking for a scent that smells like water, that is it. It smells so perfect, like a clean, crisp, watery smell. Next up, this is sure to be a favorite for summer. We have coconut. This one is fragranced with notes of warm coconut milk and creamy shea butter for a comforting, nostalgic scent. Most coconut definitely feels that way for me. Those warm coconutty tropical scents. Ooh, that is a really nice coconut. It almost has like a toasted coconut donut type of air, but not quite that deep into the sweetness of that type of fragrance. It smells like coconut, but there is like that toasted aspect. It's very warm coconut, a very bronzed coconut, if you will. I really feel like that's the shea butter kind of warming up that coconut smell. I feel like the coconut milk kind of gives it that lactonic vibe, which is kind of what's giving it the sweetness. That's what's making it feel kind of donutty almost is because the way that milky note kind of rounds out the coconut in the shea, it just gives coconut donut to me. I don't know. It smells so good though. 
Unlike any of the coconuts that I currently have in my collection, and I do have quite a few of them, this is definitely a really nice one. I could also see like if you wear a lot of shea based products, this would really bring out that scent even more. I feel like this is a really good layerable product for those types of scents. And one of these is currently on sale for 75% off for a semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works. We're talking about citrus. This is such a fresh, bright type of fragrance. It's not really what you expect when you think of citrus. This gives me like citrus gummy candy. It's really sweet and tart and zingy, but not ultra citrusy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not ultra discernible. Whether it's grapefruit, lemon, lime, orange, pomelo, do we know? I don't know. It smells good though. That's what I know. This is a very cool fragrance. It smells like something I've smelled before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Another really interesting one for the citrus realm, just like the coconut, it's very different from any of the other citruses that I've ever smelled. This one says it is fragranced with notes of salty citrus and bright stone fruit for a bold, zesty scent. Okay, that makes sense. There was definitely something in there that's not ultra citrusy that makes this a not so citrusy scent. And stone fruits could be anything. That could be peaches, that could be plums, that could be, you know, like which stone fruits? All the stone fruits, some of the stone fruits. What exactly does this smell like? I don't know, but it is very fresh, kind of evokes that fruity nature. But there's almost like a hint of a green or herbal note in there that gives it something different. It's so hard to describe, but I could definitely see how this is easy to love. It's just so different from the other citrus fragrances. It makes me really think that this one's going to be a good layering option for other citrus heavy perfumes and fragrances. So definitely an interesting contender. And again, this one is 75% off. Not all of them are, only this one. So that's kind of interesting as well. And if I had to rank them, I would say my very favorite is the Rain. The second favorite would have to be the Musk. I definitely like those light, airy, skin scent type of scents. They're very interesting and they read really nicely on me. I also really like the Coconut. It's very different, but being that I'm not a super coconut girly, I definitely like the airier fragrances a little bit more than this one. And my least favorite would have to be the Citrus. It's just not what I was expecting. And I think it's throwing me off a little bit. It is a great scent though, so don't get me wrong. Definitely go check it out for yourself. And if you've already smelled these fragrances, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know what is your favorite if you have one. What do you think of this collection overall? What do you think of the packaging? How do you like the look of this? What do you think about these six ounce bottles for the same price as the eight ounce bottles? Personally for me, I don't really mind. I've always really liked the essential oil mists and they come in at 5.3 ounces and I don't mind the difference really. But I really thought this release was interesting as they're calling them perfume mists. I thought that was something kind of new as well. And they almost just give me the vibe of Sol de Janeiro with the top and the perfume mist, calling it a perfume rather than just a fragrance mist. It's just kind of giving that vibe a little bit. And Bath & Body Works did actually try to dupe the Sol de Janeiro scents, so I do have a video upcoming on that along with a giveaway, so definitely stay tuned for that. But that about wraps it up for this one, and I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.